Hi, this is Nick from Sega SC3000 Survivors. Uh, I just want to show you something uh, neat I just got off a trade me auction. Um, just came in this morning. This is a Sega SP400 printer plotter. Um, so they were released about the same time as the Sega SC3000 back in 1983, 1984. Um, I've always wanted one of these little babies. Um, so uh, yeah, they were kind of a common design. Um, I think it was a common um, plotter mechanism made by Alps that um, was used in sort of Atari printers and Commodore printers and Sharp printers at the time. But it's uh, but it's an old plotter. Let's see. I'll just show you the box here. You can get a better idea. Um, there we go. As you can well, well, as you can see from the box, it is actually a plotter. So it's got four separate pens, um, and the paper moves up and down, and the um, pens move side to side to actually go and um, draw your uh, text and your shapes. So, well, I'm gonna um, I'm I'm quite lucky actually. I've got a four roll of paper here. I've actually got a uh, nice big bag of um, spare pens, of which I've managed to find some which still seem to kind of work, as well as a couple un unopened uh, cartridge sets here. So I'm going to see if I can get this to give it powered up and see if I can get the self-test mode to work. And then after that, I've got a cable here to hook it onto the Sega. I'll, um, if I can get the self-test mode to work, I'll um, try writing a little program on the Sega and seeing how that prints out as well. Just pop the top cover on the um, printer plotter. I don't know if you can see in here. Um, down at the left here, we've got the um, uh, pen change mechanism. There's actually four different coloured pens in there. There's a uh, red, green, blue, and black pen, and that will, I guess, rotate around um, to um, uh, get the right pen at the right time. That's already got pens in there, so I assume those are all going to be dried out. So I'll probably have to pull those out. You can see there's a fair bit of dust on the old plate in there, um, so I might see if I can clean that off before I try and fire it up. And you can see the um, yeah the Alps patent pending made in Japan there. <laughs> so good news for me is if anything's broken, I may despite the fact these these Sega SP400s are really rare, they're very very hard to find. Um, but I might be able to find a much more common, you know, Commodore plotter or Atari plotter or something like that if I need spare parts. Um, from memory, I think there's a custom controller on this. Um, that means this this particular printer is only going to work with a Sega SC3000, but the main parts of the mechanism, which are the likely bits to break, I might be able to get spares for if necessary. Although, <laughs> that does look pretty complicated, so I'm not sure how well I'll be able to change parts out if anything is broken. I have seen reports of various gears um, being very common to break with this particular mechanism, so we will see. We will see. Very cool though. Okay, fingers crossed. I've um, given it a little bit, little bit of a clean inside, not too much. Um, all of the instructions about putting the paper roll in. Now it says turn power on and raise top cover. Let's see what happens. And how do we do that? Very good. It's busy drawing on that. How do we... Okay. Well, that was not supposed to... No, okay. Not much I can do about that. <laughs> That's for a little testing it does when it stands. So it's just gone and drawn all over the platen, so hopefully no real damage done there. But it's cool. The mechanism works. What happens when I push the line feed button? Uh, line feed button to feed the paper in. Not much yet. What happens if I give this a little bit of a push? Not much yet. I'm going to put it in the wrong spot. It looks like it's. Oh, oh what's this? Look at that. Hey, there we go. Okay. Well, it looks like the mechanism works, so. 
Okay, I'll just have a quick check about changing the pens because I really doubt those ones are still working and we'll get we'll have another look. Yeah, I'll fed the paper through. This is kind of cool. I've got a color select button. I don't know if you can see down here. See how the green's currently on the top? If I hit this, hit this color select button here, watch what happens. Red's on top. Black's on top. Blue's on top. Hey! Very cool. change button. Well, I'm just going to turn her off again. We'll see if anything comes out when it doesn't does that little power on self test. So turn it off. I've actually got some paper on there. Turn it on. We'll see if it draws anything when it tries to. Turning back on now. Well, just it's hard to see. There's just the faintest of faint outlines there. So, <laughs> um, cool. Okay, let's see if I get the pen change to work. So, what do we do with the pen change? Um, okay, let me just read the instructions. I'm going to try and change the pens on my Sega SP400 printer plotter now. So, I think I've got the idea here. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go and press this pen change button over here. What should happen is this should move across over to here next to this little ejection lever here I should be able to just pop the pin out so let's see if that works uh, I see yep so I don't know if you can see there but the um, the pin on this little lever here is just underneath the tip of that pin so if I just just gently push on that oh, look at that it pops up and I don't <laughs> still might need some tweezers for this <laughs> Let's just pop back in again. <laughs> um, yep. Okay. Well, I've got the idea. I might just need some little tweezers or something to help me pull that out because my big fat fingers are struggling with that. There you go. I've popped out the top pen, which is the uh, black one. It's a bit hard to see here, but I think they've, yeah, they've got a really tiny little ballpoint right at the top, which, um, gosh, these things must have driven people insane back in the early days. <laughs> little ballpoint pens. I bet they stuck and leaked and all sorts. Um, but you can see just a simple little ballpoint pen cartridge. So here's something to replace. Um, this one seems pretty dry. If I do that on the paper there, it's not nothing's much is happening. It's obviously been sitting there for a while. But this is what they look like when they've got their caps on. So they come with these little plastic caps. And the idea of that is you keep those on to stop them drying out, I guess. So if I pull this one off, try and do this with my left hand. And there we go. So I can see that that one has actually got a little bit of ink in it so um oh, okay now yeah, it wasn't i didn't actually need the tweezers it just kind of slid out backwards so i'll just kind of put that back in here all right so it's just pop back in there so i'll do the pen change again so it's going to go from black to no uh color select oh, color select and it's rotated to blue and oh cool it comes back over so what I did, uh, so I'll go and push my little eject button here. The end of it pops up. Then it's uh, um, well, okay. This is hard to do and hold at the same time. Basically, I'm just sticking a finger. Yeah. Hang on. And let's see if I can hold this up here. Um, basically, if I just stick a finger, oh, you can't even see this. If I try and stick a finger either side of that, and if I use two hands, this is I'm kind of doing it one handed. There we go, like that. That just pops out like that. Yay! So I'll take this blue one out. Again, didn't really seem to work terribly well, so let's go and take this blue one over here and pop this in. So you get the idea, I'll change all the pins and then we'll fire it back up again and see if it works. Okay, I've um, changed all the pins, so you got the idea. So basically, um, every time I hit color select, it will go and rotate around, come back and get ready to change the next one. Um, so now what I should be able to do, according to the trucks and shut top cover, um, I don't think it clicks down or not, it just sits here. But, um, I think it just kind of sits like that. Might click in, but we'll leave it like that anyway. Um, it says hit the line feed and it should go back ready to. Here we go, ready to print. Now, what I will do is I'm just going to turn it off again. 
And I'll do two things. First, I'll turn it back on, and I should see the four little test squares. So I'm turning it on now. Here's one, two, three, four. Oh, hey, check that out. Hey, very cool. Now, what I should be able to do is if I turn it off, and I turn it, there's a switch on the side here. Uh, if I turn it back on, if I hold down the line feed as I turn it on, it should go into self-test mode, and we should see something a bit more interesting. Some of those pins are working better than others, obviously, but um, there you go. That's still not too bad. Check that out. So, let's say, is that the black? So, green's working well. Black's okay. Is it the blue? Might be okay. Might be the blue that's not going so flash there. Red's just going. Okay, very cool. All right, well, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this first look at the um, Sega SP400 um, printer plotter. Um, when I get a bit more time over the next few days, I'll um, maybe get some better pens on it and um, write, uh, type in a couple of test programs and see if we can get something a bit more interesting printing. Thanks for watching.